In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Viggle AI to create free AI animation. Let's show you how to animate in Viggle.ai. First in Google, we're going to search for Viggle. You can see Viggle.ai. Let's open this up. Visit the top search result for Viggle AI. And once we're on the page, the next thing you want to do is join the beta. We're going to select the web to begin with. Sign in with your chosen account. You can sign in with email or Google. In this example, we're going to sign in with Google and you can follow along. I advise if you want to get started to use the web version of Viggle.ai as this is going to make things super easy for beginners. You can see we can upload a character. We can drag and drop or we can select our character from a file that we find on our device. By selecting here, I'm going to upload the character image. Full body images work well in most cases. For better results, match the image with the video's framing, close up to close up. So what this means is, of course, if it's just mainly of the top half of the body, you want to try and match this in the video or match your image to the video so that it's easier to animate. If you're taking a full body video and then you're taking a close up face shot image, then it'd be harder to animate the image to match the video. Let's select upload and find our full body image. The image that I want to use in this example is going to be of Cuddle Team Leader from Fortnite. That's the character that I want to animate and I have a full body image. Next, we need to find the motion, the way we want the image to move. We can do the same by selecting a file that we have on our device. I'm going to use the John Cena moment from the Oscars. We now have our motion and our character. Let's see if we can generate the same motion for our character. You can see a template here and this is the template that we've been given. We're not going to change anything from this point as we're getting started for beginners. Let's keep it nice and simple. For the background, we have a drop down. We can select green screen or a white background. Because I want to use green screen later on so I can put my image on a different background, I'm going to select green. Then that's our model version. In this example, we only have one model version, V2, so there's nothing to change. And of course, we can enhance the quality so that we have smoother frames of our finished motion. Once you're happy, select generate. And this will begin to animate our image. Now you can see we're currently in a queue and the queue line is 12,083 in front of us. Let's see how quickly this goes down, but for reference, this is how many people that are using Viggle in order to create their animations. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> While we're waiting for this, let's go into the second version of Viggle.ai to see if we can get down the queue a lot quicker, as there is a Discord version of Viggle AI. Let's take a look. We're gonna open up Google once more. We're going to search for Viggle again, you can see it's in my recent searches. Click into the website again. Also try the beta program, which is slightly different and you're doing the same process, but through Discord. In order to join this, select the join the beta on the right hand side. This is where we're going to do the same process, but through Discord so that we can jump the queue. I need to accept the invite and you need to do the same. I've also made sure that I'm already signed into my Discord account, so I don't have any issues in this flow here. When you join the Discord server, you need to answer a few questions. It's not compulsory as you can skip, but I'm going to answer anyway. I was recommended by a friend, select next. What are your interests? Just select what's relevant to you. In this example, I'm just going to select a few because mostly everything is relevant to me in terms of my interests, but I'm just gonna select a few. It's then going to ask you what language you speak other than English. I'm going to select English only to make sure I don't cause any confusion. Then there are some terms of the server that you can read upon. I'm going to select finish as I'm happy with those terms. Here is where we're going to get started. You can see there are a few options that we can select from on the left hand side. Once inside of the discord, you can select from animate on the left hand side. I've selected animate 11. Here is where you can start to animate your images. Select a message and press forward slash. Here from forward slash, select animate. Then you upload your image. In this example, I'm going to use a Fortnite image and the image is going to be of 
purely from Fortnite. You can drag and drop or you can select from that prompt. Here I'm going to find my image. I have my image saved in a folder and I'm going to use it right here. It doesn't have a background, it has an alpha channel, a transparent background. Then I'm going to select motion prompt. Here's the interesting part. If you go back to the Viggle website, you can find prompt examples that you can use for your image. I've typed dancing into this search bar here. Let's use dance. I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't play the sound because some of these memes have sound with them. So I'm just gonna mute the sound. You can see the image right here on screen. I can copy the prompt by selecting the hashtag that has now been copied to the, to the clipboard. Then going to close this out and I'm going to go back to the Discord server. Then I'm going to paste the prompt into motion prompt. Then select background and from background, I'm going to select green. Then we can fine tune the image. This will enhance the character detail fidelity, give an added approximately two minutes to the video processing time. We're going to turn this on. Once happy, press enter to begin. Now Viggle is thinking and our animation has begun to process. If you're successful with entering these prompts, it will say Viggle is thinking. But keep in mind, there are other users in front of you when you're trying to animate your image. Let's wait for the final result. One thing you can do while you're waiting for your animation to be completed by Viggle is you can copy the link to your message so you don't lose it. In order to do this, move over to the far right hand side of your message, select the three dots for more, and then you can copy the message link so that you can come back to it later on even if you close the web browser. Paste this into a Word document or a document of your choosing so that you can come back to the link later on. Here's some important information about using Viggle while we wrap up and I show you how you can find your animations and more that you have created using these prompts. You have a daily limit, so you can only mix and animate so many times per day. Once you reach your daily limit, you will no longer be able to create a mix or animation for that day. So let's show you how to find your creations once you've completed these prompts in Viggle via Discord and of course the website. Let's start with Discord. In order to find any completed projects that you've done with Viggle, you need to go into your inbox. Viggle will send you a direct message. Your inbox is located in the top right hand corner of Discord. I'm gonna select this right here. And then I'm gonna go into mentions. I'm gonna make sure I'm in mentions. This might be in your unread if you haven't seen it already. Scrolling down inside of this section, you will see that I have direct messages from Viggle via Discord. And as you can see, it's been a success. You can see the picture that I've used and the mix of the animation. So I'm replacing Lil Yadi in this creation here. I'm going to download that by selecting download and you can download directly to your device. I'm going to do this now. That has now been downloaded to my device. Let's take a look at the final finished piece. And this is the final finished piece. As you can see, I'm replacing Lil Yadi using the Viggle AI when he's at a concert. And there is also a Viggle AI logo watermark in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This also comes with audio, so there is audio with this as well. So check that out as I'm replacing Lil Yachty using the Viggle AI in this mix. And of course, with the final finished pieces via the website, which does take a little bit longer, but it's quite straightforward as opposed to the Discord method, you will find your final finished pieces on the right hand side right here. And you can see that currently Viggle is experiencing high traffic. So that means that your creations might take a little bit of time, but you can get them done. Here's me doing the Conor McGregor walk <laughs> right here. So check that out. <laughs> With the Viggle AI logo in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can download your creations via the Viggle website just by pressing this download button here, or you can delete them. You can also look at the prompt that was used in order to create this animation in Viggle. The difference is this is an animation and not a mix. And you can see that I'm using a green background with these prompts. And that covers how to use Viggle AI to create animations today. You can animate and mix using these prompts in Discord. And we've also shown you how to do this 
on the website. For more, right here on the Mr. Money YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe for more and give us a thumbs up to let the algorithm know that you want more videos like this. Thank you for watching.